Welcome back to KNL Farms. I'm Ken. I hope this video finds you well. See that chicken right there in the wood pile? Uh, I'm kind of between seasons right now, and I'm waiting for the uh, waiting for the burn ban to come off so I could actually go do uh, fire prevention and uh, and burn brush. So I got a, uh, <coughs> a wood house or a, a, my woodshed, and I'm trying to get some of this uh, cleaned up a little bit. This is from last year. Now I would say this is seasoned firewood, it's not dry because I don't have a moisture meter so I can't claim it's actually dry. And since we're burning it all anyway, um, on the homestead, it doesn't really matter. It's, it's good enough for us. But there was chickens inside this woodshed and, and you just seen one of that wood pile. And, and they're kind of fussy because they nested underneath that wood pile and I chased a couple of them out of there. I got some, uh, I bet you four or five eggs out of there. Uh, took them up to the house to consume, but uh, I'm just going to work on trying to get this wood pile down a little bit and clean up the woodshed. And I'll take you up the woodshed and show you that here in just a little bit. But let's bust some of this up and pick up some of the stuff I already split, throw it in the bucket, and then later on I'll, I'll take the tractor up to the woodshed after I get the woodshed cleaned out. Because once you get up and you see the woodshed too, you'll see that I don't know if it's cats or chickens that are. They're kind of destroying the pile. Uh, I need to do some uh, cleanup on it. And uh, you have to forgive me about my voice right now because uh, kids went back to school. It hasn't been a month. Um, grandkids, not my kids. Well, you could say, yeah, they're my kids, but they're grandkids. And they went back to school, and everybody in town, in the, uh, the town, when I say town, I say uh, town probably involves, you know, 600 people. 600 people. Kids went back to school, and about 600 people have a head cold like I do. I know everybody on the homestead has a head cold like I do, and that's why it's taken me a while to shoot a video, because uh, I was down for probably three days. I know I lost three or four shifts working on my homestead just because of this freaking cold. But, but anyway, let's get started. Also, I was going to tell you that uh, in our case, and in, in most cases uh, here, in the area I live in, the region I live in, this is all fur. There's some oak inside there. Oak's hard to come by. Pine is plentiful. I have more pine than I need, but we don't really burn pine on my homestead. But we go through, and when we're cutting firewood, we try to get a chopping block. That's just a block, a couple blocks from that pile. We, we take them out and then we chop on that until we get the pile done. And then we, because that's going to be a fight to, to split that up, we just try and get some of that cleaned up as much as we can before we use the chopping block. And that one was the original chopping block. And then we dug down in the pile enough that we found another one. And that's my favorite now. Okay, see I'm in the woodshed, and see how the, I don't know if it's chickens, I'm not sure what did this, but, but now it's time to clean that up a little bit since I have spare time, and I'm still waiting on the burn band to come off. So I'm gonna clean some of this up, and then I'll go get that tractor, and I'll bring that tractor up here, and put some more up here, but let's get some of this consolidated a little bit. Now see how you get a piece like that? That's too long. Uh, I'm going with 22. That won't fit the stove. It gets pitched outside. We'll use it for something else. And remember, most of this is fur.
Okay, uh, you've got the tractor bucket loaded. These are deduct. We, we call them deduct. They're they're too big, and either we got to take them to the saw. Now, see that one's actually pretty good length right there. That one goes on the pile. Clean this up a little bit, and uh, I'll probably try and get it back towards the back. Cause see how it's leaning out, and we think this is probably oh I don't know maybe a cord and a half here. That's more than we need, but I had this left over. I have a uh, considerable amount left over that was seasoned from last year. So we're just going to try and get some of that, that better looking stuff that I picked through. I, I high graded that pile into the tractor bucket and I'm just going to put it on, on this pile. Okay, uh, you've got the tractor bucket loaded. These are deduct. We, we call them deduct. They're they're too big, and either we got to take them to the saw. Now, see that one's actually pretty good length right there. That one goes on the pile. Clean this up a little bit, and uh, I'll probably try and get it back towards the back. Cause see how it's leaning out, and we think this is probably oh I don't know maybe a cord and a half here. That's more than we need, but I had this left over. I have a uh, considerable amount left over that was seasoned from last year. So we're just gonna try and get some of that, that better looking stuff that I picked through. I, I high graded that pile into the tractor bucket and I'm just gonna put it on, on this pile. Remember, if you liked any portion of this video, hit the like and subscribe for me. It really does help.